All right, two minutes on some of the first female public figures within the funeral business that we need to talk about. So the first is the actual first female funeral director in America. In 1858, as the Courier Post reported, Henrietta Bowers Duttert shrugged off the customs of her time to become the first modern female undertaker in America. She lived to become one of Philadelphia's most prosperous black entrepreneurs, serving both black and white families. By her death at age 86, she owned multiple properties and made over $200,000 a year, very prosperous. She was born in 1817 in Pennsylvania to the Bowers family, one of 13 children. A lot of the children became notable for singing and entertainment and for doing amazing things, just like Henrietta did. She worked in the family textile business. In 1852, she married Frances Duttert, a cabinet maker. She used her textile skills, his cabinet making skills, and they began making coffins. Without the use of nails to break into the funeral trade, that was somewhat of a novel profession in America. And when he died in 1958, she took over the business solely and became the first female funeral director. Women had been helping lay out deceased over the years, but she was the first female to take on the specific role of an undertaker and to own her own funeral home. She was also part of the Underground Railroad. Huge, more important work that she did. And she helped formerly enslaved people cross into Canada, reach the hundreds of thousands. How many enslaved people she had helped, whether in coffins or funeral processions or clothed in Northern garb, remains unrecorded. So she placed living slaves in coffins to transport them and also helped reclothe them because many slave owners and people didn't recognize the slaves once they were clothed in higher society clothing up in Pennsylvania. Her work continued on with helping others be freed and through the funeral home until her death in 1903. Know her name.